Hi, welcome back to the Free Swatches channel. It's been a while since we've posted the video because we're working on some larger video projects at the moment. Um, but it's got to the end of the month, we've made some more watches and I've got some new watches to show you. So today we just thought we'd make a short video just to show you the watches we've been making over the last month. Uh, we've got one that I'm really quite excited about which is offering us a, a new take on the stainless steel case. Um, so what we're going to do in a sec, we're going to go over to the bench and I'll show you these watches in some more detail. Okay, so here's our heat treated 101. Um, this is something that we've been working on for a while. Um, so what you have here is a Freeze 101 with a 369 dial. Um, but the main thing that we've done to change things is to treat the case. It's a stainless steel case which has been treated to give it a gold colour. Um, when I say gold, it's a fairly light gold colour, so it's not the heavy bright gold that you would get with a solid gold case. It's something that's slightly different. It's a bit like bronze, but I would say it's a shade lighter than bronze. So I'm just going to talk you through the process that we've, uh, that we've used here. The first thing that we've done, we've brushed the case entirely, so every element of the case is brushed, um, because what we found is when we treat the case, this gives a much more even finish. Uh, we've then treated the stainless steel until it changes colour, and what we've achieved is a kind of very light gold, which is not unlike bronze. The only difference between this and bronze, of course, is as it's stainless steel, it's not going to change in quite the way that bronze does. The degree of patina that you get with bronze, although it is a very attractive thing, it's not for everyone. And what we wanted to do was to produce our own version of that, a sort of, you know, a type of finish that looks really attractive but doesn't change as much as bronze. And that's what we have here. We've complemented this finish with gilt hands. So we've got the gilt hands on here, a printed white, so it's cream really, cream dial with the blue. And we've also aged the bezel as well. Uh, so really happy with the combination of the blue and the, uh, and the new treated case finish. Um, I think we've made this, this has made a really attractive watch. It was inspired by a lot of the bronze watches that I've been looking at recently. I wanted to make our own bronze watch, um, but I felt that it would be nice to add some kind of individual twist to that particular finish. And some bronze watches have a different me metal mixture so that the bronze doesn't age. And I thought, well, how about I just start with stainless steel and see what I can do to achieve that finish with that material. And I'm really pleased with the results. The gold obviously, um, obviously complements some colours best than others. I think it goes really well with the blue, which we've aged, so it's an aged blue finish. But I'm also looking forward to making this case with a green dial as well, because I think that's really going to go well together. It's going to be a nice combination. So I've got three more watches to show you. Now these are all in the standard steel case, and these are all 369 dialed 101s. What we did last month, we made some really colourful watches, and these the, the more colourful the watch was, the quicker it sold, it seemed. So I thought, well, let's make three more colourful watches that I can show you um, for the end of the month that would really kind of complement the ones we made last month. This is the first watch we've made. It's got a very vivid blue dial. It's a navy blue, but it does stand out. It's complemented well with the cream loom, and we've got quite a bright blue bezel on there as well. Um, it, what we normally do with the standard 369 dial is that we use a green print for freeze and 101 automatic, and in this occasion, we've gone red, because red does really look nice with the blue. It's something we've also done on the uh, treated case as well, um, feel it complements the uh, the blue and also adds a new a new colour to the watch. So overall, really pleased with that as a package. Our next watch is a very green 101. Um, this may be a bit of a green overload with the background as well, but uh, we've, <laughs> we've got three shades of green going on. Um, but last month I made a green 101 with a standard dial. Um, it sold before it hit the website and I couldn't resist the temptation of making another watch that was entirely green. Uh, just with a slightly different look. So we've gone for a 369 dial. It's a green a green 369 dial, first one we've made, which is this colour, and with the um, aged green bezel and a cream loom. I think it's made a really nice combination. Once again, as we always try uh, to achieve with our watches, it's unique. Um, we haven't made a watch like this before. We always try to make things different. And also we've gone with a red print on this as well. So Freeze 101 Automatic is in a deep red colour, which you know I think works well with the red, sorry, with the green. Um, yeah, and we've got a nice olive strap to go on top as well. So the last watch I'm going to show you, it's another 101. It's another 369 dial, but this time we've gone for a red bezel. I don't think we've made a watch with this bezel color before. We've made one other uh, aged red watch, which we still got in stock, it's on the website. Um, but what, we'd made, what we did with that one, we actually had a, an aged red dial as well. Um, but with this, I mean, red and black is a great combination, and we've gone for a black dial 
with the red bezel and the red freeze and 101 automatic on the dial. I mean, it's just one of the great things about making watches this way. Everyone's different and we get to do what we like and uh, really pleased with how this has come out. With the loom on this watch is probably about as light as we tend to go. It's got a very, very slight cream colour to it. It could be forgiven for being called almost white loom, um, but this does give the watch a really nice clean look, especially with the black dial and the red on the dial and the red, and the red bezel as well. Uh, we've aged the pip on the, as usual and fitted a nice you know, browny, browny red strap. Uh, I think it's made a really attractive watch and that'll be on the website for the first of the month. Thanks very much for watching the video and I hope that looking at those watches was, was of some interest to you. I really enjoyed showing you the, uh, the new treated case which we're really proud of. That watch and all the other watches I've shown you will be available um, from the first of the month so please go over to the website which is freeswatches.com and have a look and they're all available for sale in the shop from then. If you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and the, tap on the bell for notifications and then you'll know when we've got new videos coming out because we have got lots of new videos on the way. So thanks again and bye for now.